So the three minute mastery from module one, energy fundamentals. Here we're talking about the second portion of forms of energy. So previously we took a look at some different energy forms and here we're gonna look at uh, the, the remaining versions. So this first one seems pretty clear that this is an example of heat energy. This is uh, random molecular motion. This is also known as thermal energy. It has, uh, huh, well, it, until recently, the considered notion was that it stopped at absolute zero, which means that the molecules inside a substance stopped moving. Uh, but uh, there are, there's a recent article saying that somebody was actually able to achieve negative temperature. Go figure, right? This is an example of electromagnetic radiation. And uh, this is uh, so named because it exhibits the properties of both the electric and the magnetic fields. Uh, this consists of visible light along with light that we can't see, so ultraviolet, infrared, this kind of thing. Uh, and this light makes up a small portion of the complete electromagnetic spectrum. If you're familiar with x-rays, of course, x-rays are actually a form of light. They're no different than the color orange. Uh, we have an equation for this and that equation tells us that frequency goes up as the wavelength decreases and that's all based on the speed of light. Finally, we have this form of energy over here and so this is chemical energy. Uh, this is either generated from or it's used in forming or separating bonds between atoms and molecules. For example, if we take a couple of hydrogen molecules uh, and an oxygen atom, bring them together, well, we get water, H2O, right? Conversely, we could split them apart and end up with our constituent hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, combustion is another form of chemical energy. Uh, that's the macro effect of atomic and molecular changes. Also, uh, food in our bodies, when we eat food, it's converted to chemical energy where it gets stored or used immediately. So for your notes, what I'd like you to do is come up with some different examples of the three forms of energy that we've discussed.